My topic is echolocation, also known as sonar, or as Siobhan calls it, ikalalala. <laughs> and I did not have a typo here, it is actually, the O is supposed to be a capital. Echolocation is used by dolphins, whales, bats, and even in real life today. And it is used because some sound waves are bounced out and then some sound waves are sent out into surroundings and then when they bounce back, um, dolphins usually inter uh, in interpret. interpret the signals and then which allows them to see their surroundings. Dolphins use echolocation to find their family, find food, and also find direction. And it is very important for them so then they can see better as their eyesight is not that good in murky waters. Other animals that use echolocation is bats, whales, and also even submarines today we use echolocation. Echolocation works because high frequency sound waves are sent out and then um, they travel through their surroundings. When for example, for dolphins, when fish, when the sound waves hit the fish, they bounce back, and then it hits the dolphin. Um, inside of the dolphin, in the brain, uh, inside the melon, and also their jaws, there are cavities which are filled with fatty tissue, which then send the messages to the brain, um, which the dolphin interprets. Um, echolocation was first researched in depth by Jack, uh, by Jacques Costu which is a famous marine explorer. And until today, many scientists still do not know about the mysteries of echolocation, which future scientists will continue to study. Thank you.